Hello everyone and welcome to a really fun vlog. I'm basically going to take you with me throughout the day and I am going to the city, going to go to some of my favourite bookstores in Sydney. I don't know why I said Sydney, I live in Sydney if you didn't know. <laughs> but yeah, very excited to spend the day going book shopping. I'm going to do some reading as well and I will obviously take you along with me, show you around the bookstores and also we'll hopefully get some books, you know. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm going book shopping with my friends Kaz from Little Book Owl and Momo from The Booktube Girl. Love them. We'll leave them linked below if you don't already follow them. But yeah, so going with them. Very excited. I'm catching the train in, so I'm going to be reading If I Had Your Face on the Train. And this is the book that I'm currently reading. I'm on page four. So I've made lots of progress. So hopefully I can make some more progress on the train. But before I go, I want to show you my outfit. So firstly, my hair. I did these two cute little pigtail things. And I also have some like safety pins in my hair for some fun accessories. And this is my outfit. And there's Scruffy. Hello. <laughs> so yes, this is my outfit. I have this top from Princess Polly. This really fun top with like fluffy sleeves that I got off Depop. This black skirt, which once again is from Princess Polly. Some tights and some boots. And these are from Felicity Bags, I think. And then I have this bag because I need a big bag for my book, my camera and books and stuff. So yes, very excited. Is she? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Hello, we are at the bookstore. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. It's a secret. Yeah. I'm with Momo and Kel. And Momo is making her return to YouTube. Yes. yes. Very excited. And we have some books, which I'll talk about later. Oh, you don't know. I know. I'm gonna get, I think I'm going to get this book. Yes. Oh, yes. It's sorry. beautiful. Sorry. It is so beautiful. I'm holding some patches in here, which is why it's very precarious. <laughs> very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so we're now at Grills. We have our delicious food. There was this whole fiasco. <laughs> She left it at Dimmicks and it was a stressful time, but thankfully she's gotten it back. Shout out to the people at Dimmicks. Thank you! <laughs> the best! We're gonna eat and then we're gonna try to get some yummy ice cream and stuff and read in a park or something. Very stunning. Okay, so now we are at Hyde Park and we were deciding where we wanted to read and there were three benches in a row so we were like, this is perfect. <laughs> Okay, hello everyone. I am back home and I need to show you the books that I got. I got some stunning, stunning books and also update you on my reading. So on the train and stuff and obviously in the park, I read more of If I Had Your Face and I'm up to page 100 now. Really enjoying it. I don't know if I even said the synopsis, but it's basically about these four Korean girls living in Korea and dealing with the struggles of living as women in contemporary Korean society. So, you know, dealing with disgusting men, harsh beauty standards, and it also explores their friendship and stuff. So yeah, really, really enjoying it. And it's definitely quite a quick read. So yeah, really loving it. I feel like Scruffy hasn't said hello in ages, so. He's my stunning boy. Aren't you stunning? Scruffy, are you stunning? So yes, we went to Books Kino Kinea and Dimix. And I got most of my books from Books Kino Kinea, so I'll show you them now. Okay, actually, I'll show you the books that I got from Dimix first. So I got All's Well by Mona Award, and Mona Award wrote Bunny, which is my current favourite book. Of course, I need to read all of Mona Award's books, and this is her newest release. And it's like a Shakespeare retelling, and it's supposed to be incredible, and it's actually my Patreon book club book for... April. So very excited. And I do have the ARC copy that I was originally going to read from, but I saw this, wanted to support Mona Award. Very, very sunny cover. Literally obsessed with this cover. Then I got How to Kill Your Family by Bella Mackey. And this is supposed to be a very funny book and my friend Diogo talked about this and said that I would like it and obviously the title <laughs> I remember when Diogo told me about this I typed it into Google I just had a tab that was how to call your family it looks very sus <laughs> but stunning pink and I actually don't even know what it's about I just trust Diogo but let's see they say you can't choose your family but you can kill them Meet Grace Bernard daughter sister colleague friend serial killer Grace has lost everything and now she wants Revenge. Okay, so now for the books from Kinokuniya, I got Almond by Won Pyong Son. And this is a Korean novel, and this is, I'm pretty sure, like a classic in Korea. And basically, this follows Yunje, who was born with a brain condition called alexithemia that makes it hard for him to feel emotions like fear or anger. And it says everything changes when a shocking act of random violence shatters his world, leaving him alone and on his own. So I think this is supposed to be a very hard hitting book, but it's supposed to be incredible. So very excited to have this and read it soon. And then I got the complete poems of Emily Bronte. Obviously I love my poetry and I wanted to get some Emily Bronte poetry and I really really love this edition. Then I saw this and it definitely sounds really intriguing. It is called Black is the New White by Nakia Louie and this is actually a play written by an Aboriginal writer and this is supposed to be funny. It's about love politics and other things you shouldn't talk about at dinner. I hadn't heard of this and I looked it up and it has lots of good reviews so 
very excited about this. Then I got No Longer Human by Uzamu Desai. And this is actually a classic in Japan. So it's obviously been translated. And I have read No Longer Human by Junji Ito, which is his like adaptation of this novel, obviously manga style. And I loved it. So I definitely want to read the original text. And I love this cover, like how fun, the pink. So yeah, very excited that I saw this in the bookstore. Then I got Convenience Store Woman by Sayaka Morasa. This basically follows Kiko who is 36 years old and she's never had a boyfriend. She's been working in the same convenience store for 18 years. And people around her are like, you know, why are you gonna get a boyfriend? Why are you working at this job? But Kiko knows what makes her happy and she's not gonna let anyone take her away from her convenience store. So very, very excited to read this. And it's also really not that long. So I feel like I could read it in one sitting. So hopefully we'll read it soon. And actually I was contemplating between this cover and a different edition. They were so cute, like both of them. Like obviously this is stunning and they actually had different colors to choose from so that was so fun so the pink definitely called to me the most but then there was yeah like i said another edition and i was like eh, very torn between the two so i posted on my instagram story and asked which one i should get and most people said this but i'm still thinking about that other edition like miss you but this is obviously something i'm happy i went with this choice but it was a tough choice. Okay, and lastly, I got Sad Girls by Lang Lee. Firstly, love the title. And Lang Lee is someone I've been meaning to get into. How fun is this edition? Like, wow. And basically, this is a coming of age story. It follows Audrey, who is dealing with the death of her classmate. And then she starts a romance with this boy, but it says, will their ill-timed romance drive her closer to the edge? So it says, your first love isn't the first person you give your heart to. It's the first person who breaks it also love the cover so yeah those are the books that i got very excited about them and just had the best day ever like literally 10 out of 10 day it was supposed to rain today and it didn't so that was stunning we just had the most beautiful day the weather was amazing Kaz and momo are amazing obviously love book shopping we had obviously stunning lunch bubble tea like just a perfect perfect sunday that's Kaz now actually so thank you so much for joining me for this day if you're looking for more content for me i have a patreon which is where i upload extra content like extra reading vlogs we do a monthly live show we do a monthly buddy read etc i have all my socials linked below including my twitch which is twitch.tv slash game with chloe and that is where i stream games and just chatting so thank you so much once again for watching this video thank you so much for your support always hope you're having a good day and night and i'll see you in my next video